Hey guys, welcome back to part four of our ongoing series featuring the restoration of the 1978 Carver Yacht. In this video, we're finishing up with the bottom paint, which is the last step before getting into the water. So without further ado, let's get started. Buy some worthless old boat and fix it up new. In our previous video, we removed all of the old bottom paint and sanded down to the fiberglass and the gel coat. We repaired a few items and prepped it for new paint. You can find all of that in episode two, which I'll link below. Something I never really considered in the past is the fact that fiberglass and gel coat are not really waterproof. If your boat sets in the water for extended periods of time, the water will slowly start to get absorbed into the fiberglass through something called osmosis, causing it to delaminate and blister. To protect our boat below the water line, a two-part epoxy primer is applied. This is a barrier coat that protects your boat for years to come. We chose Interlux's Interprotect 2000 for our fiberglass hull. Following the manufacturer's recommendations required four gallons of the primer to be applied. As you can see, this stuff is thick. To get best results, I used a cordless drill and a paint mixing tool to completely mix the two-part epoxy and get all the lumps out. The working time on this paint is about an hour to an hour and a half. So for me working by myself, I really didn't have much time to mess around when it came time to start rolling it on. I ordered special rollers that can handle the chemical heat that this epoxy creates. Don't forget to clean and wipe down the hull with a fiberglass solvent wash to remove all of the dirt and grease before painting. And warning, that stuff is harsh. So make sure that you wear gloves, a respirator, skin, and eye protection. So the epoxy primer wasn't quite as bad or near as bad as the fiberglass wash. So I'm just wearing gloves for this. Uh, I will say though, it's really sticky and it once it gets on you, it doesn't come off. It's an epoxy paint. Uh, the other tip that uh, I learned through some of the other videos is start from the bottom of the hull and work your way up to avoid it dripping on you. That saved me quite a bit because, uh, again, once the stuff gets on you, especially like arm hair and things like that, that stuff will not come off. Okay, quick video. This is the first layer of the ablative hull paint, which is basically the anti-fouling paint. It's considered a soft ablative paint, so it wears off over time. And we're going to do two separate colors. We're going to do a light blue and then a dark blue. And the reason we're going to do two separate colors is because it slowly wears away over time like a bar of soap. And so when the outer dark blue layer gets worn away and this light blue starts to shine through, then you know it's time to do another painted coat. So this uh, light blue or this blue is uh, a very blue. Uh, it's a very bright blue. Uh, and we're more of a darker navy blue, but uh, so we're going to do a, a dark blue, which is probably going to look more like a black. We'll see. We'll see just how dark it is, but uh, we're going to move the blocks around and get to it. And so I can get to that little part right there. We'll put the jacks, get put new blocks up. We're going to get the dark blue on here tonight, and then tomorrow morning we're going to launch her in the water so tomorrow at 8 a.m so we're gonna have a minimum of 16 hours of drying drying time so we're gonna get this knocked out today it takes about an hour and a half to get uh to get this rolled on and uh, brushed with all the detail and then it will be our very last coat so pretty excited see you soon So this is the paint we're using. We're using the Interlux Micron Extra, and it's got the slimicide in it. Since uh, we're on the upper Mississippi, we got a lot of green algae, a lot of slime. So I, uh, instead of the um, CSC, I decided to pay extra for the, uh, what they call it Biolux uh, Block Slime, which is their slimicide. And uh, again, this is the dark blue going on top of the light blue. We're just blue so 
we've went with all Interlux products. So, yep. They are a messy paint, I will give you that. And uh, when you get it on your body, it, it don't come off. So that's it for this video. Watching paint dry isn't the most exciting thing in the world, but in our next video, we're gonna launch the boat and cross our fingers that it stays afloat and that the engines run. We're on a tight schedule and every day is a summer day not on the water. If you like this video, please hit subscribe and check out our other videos. See you next time.